There's a lot of very unique and cool custom content such as fan games, game modifications, applications, and cool uses of hardware that are floating around the web that you may not have known about. Chill out, grab a great drink, and let's check out some slick bits. Do you remember that demo that Nintendo made of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but it was in the style of the original Zelda and in 2D? Well, they really went back to their roots to design that game, and the demo looked super cool, but Nintendo never released it. A dedicated fan named Winter Drake has created his own Breath of the Wild 2D demo, and it's actually pretty in-depth for its current progress. With cooking, finding new weapons and items, and a plethora of enemies, this little demo has quite a bit to offer and is a challenge to anyone who wants to give it a shot. It's easy to see the resemblance between the original Zelda and this demo, but don't be fooled because there are several touches that make the Breath of the Wild 2D demo look and play even better. All the enemies, items, and characters cast shadows, there's spreadable fire, the grass and surroundings react to the player's input, when you walk through the tall grass it makes tall grass sound effects, and it all feels really interactive and well done for a fan game. Not to mention, it's still in development and things are being added all the time. There's a couple paths you can take when you start the demo. I decided to go up and get the hammer and get an extra heart, then went down and found a bow in the graveyard, then went into the desert and ended up discovering an axe for cutting trees. Health is pretty hard to come by as you only get it from killing certain enemies and finding apples and trees, though you can cook the food to get more health back or you can just eat it raw for a little extra heal. Overall this demo is definitely something to try if you're on a computer and ever wanted to experience the Breath of the Wild 2D demo. Having a party on the Wii U can be a bit difficult if you don't have enough controllers to go around to play a game. That can be solved by using external controllers like the Xbox 360 or Switch gamepad by using HID to VPad, a homebrew that sends controller inputs over the network to the Wii U and acts as a pro controller or a gamepad. This application has support for X input devices like the Xbox 360 and Xbox One controllers to HID devices like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Using Homebrew through the browser on any Wii U console up to this point, which is 5.5.1, users can easily launch this app and be controlling their Wii U through network using various controllers not normally supported by the Wii U. Developer Mascho has made this easy to use and functional as possible, and it really can save players wanting to play big multiplayer matches quite some money with a little bit of tinkering. Zelda Ocarina of Time on the 3DS was an absolute pleasure to play with upgraded graphics and familiar assets, though there is still to be desired an HD remake of one of the best Zelda titles in the series. Fans envision such a feat and aren't willing to wait for Nintendo to make it happen. Come to Cryzen X, an Unreal game developer who has been working on recreating Zelda Ocarina of Time in the beautiful Unreal Engine. Dynamic lighting, bloom, detailed shaders, high quality textures, and familiar maps and models come together in a nice and simple package as Zelda Ocarina of Time HD Unreal Edition. It's absolutely stunning to see Link with realistic lighting and effects in a world that has been explored time and time again. Not only has Cryzen X put models and maps from the original game, he's created unique shaders and effects and even added game mechanics such as a full inventory and pause menu, attacking, health, a rupee monetary system, NPCs with text and animations, jumping, grabbing, climbing, basic magic, and the list continues to go on. This isn't just a visual pleasure, it's a semi-functioning demo to Zelda Ocarina of Time HD, and it feels great despite a few clunky mechanics and to be polished features, of course. But it's all still work in progress by one guy, so it's astonishing to see what he's mustered together so far. With his latest demo, he shows off Kokiri Forest with familiar AI and a functioning shop even, and even in the intro sequence to the game with Navi running off to wake Link up to start his big adventure. It's all really coming together and getting better every single update. 
If you want to play this slick HD Zelda on your computer, you can find a link in the description. It'll take a computer with a hefty graphics card and a decent processor to run this title. This episode's bonus fan art was created by Filiana and shows Link and Zelda in a detailed artistic style. It appears the protagonists are shocked by something. What could it be? Calamity Ganon? A really bad movie? No, it's got to be a huge cluster of chickens coming to say hello. Ah, man, first episode finally over. Thank you all so much for watching and checking out this episode of Slick Bits. If you know of any projects that you'd like to see highlighted, or maybe you even got some fan art that you want to see on the show, please tweet it to me on Twitter at Tev underscore dog. Stay awesome, everyone, and as always, like it up, subscribe it up. Peace out, dudes.